drop shipping from Amazon. That was by far the worst investment I ever made and I'll tell you why. If you're on YouTube, you watch a lot of YouTube videos or even Facebook, chances are you've seen a bunch of gurus promising to make you a lot of money by drop shipping on Amazon. Well, I bought into one of those a while ago, a couple of years ago. And I would say looking back at it now, I was not in a good place in my life in terms of my career and business. I had uh, lost a lot of money in a startup and just as an entrepreneur, I wanted to do something, do something new. Anyway, I bought into a course that cost me a whopping $4,000, okay? Through the course, I was taught how to create a store, how to be in good standing, best practices, set up LLC, set up credit, all this good stuff, right? And so I started on my journey to becoming a drop shipper. For those of you who are out there, you may be wondering, what does it mean to drop ship? If you hear the term Amazon drop shipping, this is precisely how it works. Basically, you list items on Amazon and these are items that are common. These are items you can get at your local big box store like Walmart, Home Depot. But what you do is you find out how much that item costs at a Home Depot. If that item costs maybe 20 bucks at Home Depot, you can list the same item on Amazon for 30 bucks. Damn! You factor in Amazon fees, you factor in shipping and handling, and whatever difference is left, that's how much you make as profit. And that's drop shipping in the short form. At least that's what I was involved in. So I started finding products to add to my store and this actually started to make money. I made the first month or the first two months, I did start to see profit. I learned the process of adding products from big box store and then flipping the difference. But here's where the trouble started to happen. At, I would say about six months in, my store was actually doing decently well. So I thought, okay, this is perfect. I can just automate this entire process, which is always my mindset. Anything I get involved in when I get to a certain point, it's time to let off the wheels and hand it over to somebody else and make it a passive income. So I decided to hire a team of four people. I had somebody who would look out for new products to add to the store. I had a customer service. I had somebody who would also just manage the entire team and somebody who would place the orders. So once a customer places an order on Amazon, you also have to go place that order from say Home Depot or Walmart and then ship it to the customer. So I had people to handle all of these tasks and life was good for about a month because the biggest problem that I had with drop shipping was the customer service. Now, if you are a seller on Amazon, they have a metric system. And in that metric system, you go your third strike, as they say, so they it's like warning. So you, you can get one strike, two strikes, you get third strike, your account is in jeopardy. You can either get suspended indefinitely or get suspended for a short amount of time. And by this time, I already had quite a bit of overhead costs, my employees, all the software that I was using, and also paying off the credit uh, that I was using. So long story short, the biggest problem I had was customer service. And if you sell products online or anywhere else, chances are you're gonna get some unhappy customers. I don't know why that is, where the customer who spends the least amount of money always has the most ask. Even though I hired somebody to take care of this problem, it still kept me up at night. It was like I would not be able to sleep because I know when I wake up the next day, I've got a load of customers that I needed to answer. Usually my customer service agent, she's able to resolve most issues, but issues that may lead to complaints to Amazon or refunds or whatever the case may be, then I get involved. So at this time, that was actually going up and up and up and up. And I would get complaints from this customer and that customer. At the end of the day, I I held on to this store even though it was giving me so much anxiety and I was not happy. But I held on to it because it was making money. Who doesn't like to make money? And I had a team who was feeding it. But around close to the end of the year, October, I got a third strike and Amazon decided to shut my store down. Now, this is the funny part. The third strike came from a product that cost $5 
and 99 cents. <laughs> so you had a store that was making thousands of dollars every month, but it took a, a product that cost less than six bucks. I remember how devastating it was. It was, I took it personal, but then as weeks and months went by, I actually felt just a sense of relief. I was able to sleep again. I didn't have to think about all of the customers and dealing with this person and that person. I didn't have to deal with my staff anymore. Unfortunately for them, I had to let them go because the store was closed. But the reason why this was the worst investment for me, it wasn't because of the money, because like I said, the store actually made money. And when I think of it, I did make my $4,000 back over, but I just, I was not the right fit because when I think of the business uh, strategy itself, it was deceitful. You know, I was selling product that I didn't own. Basically when you're drop shipping, you don't own the product. You're, you're reselling somebody else's product, somebody else's marketing and re just placing your own list and under it. Actually, I did go on to create my own product. So I joined the FBA as they say. And with that, it's more legitimate where you create your own product, you handle the packaging, the shipping, everything. So I invested a couple of thousands of dollars to create my own product. And again, it just didn't, it was not a good fit. So when I think of it now, it was just not a good fit for me. It wasn't something that I I was happy with, but the headache was just having to deal with just low end customers. For anybody watching this video, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get involved with drop shipping on Amazon or anywhere else, but if you do, make sure you, you have a tough skin to deal with customer service, or better yet, if you can stay above a certain price range, with your product, I think that can help eliminate a lot of the headaches that you may have down the road. And really the last thing I would say is, if you don't have to, if it's just about making money, stay the hell away from Amazon dropshipping, no matter how much the guru promises you. Just don't do it. Don't do it because it's gonna steal your joy faster than anything, because it did for me. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I've got more stories and more wisdom to share, so be sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.